Welcome to GTech. Today we are going to see about Pascal theorem. So, I had drawn two non-parallel lines and I am going to mark three points over there and I name it as A, B, C. And in the second line it is A prime, B prime and C prime. Right? So, I am going to take two points a b prime so i had drawn on line again b a prime and i had drawn on line and the two lines are getting in intersected right so i have mentioned it with a green dot similarly i am going to draw some six lines so that i will get three points a c prime a bar a prime c and again i am getting intersecting point right i have mentioned it with green now i'm taking b c prime and c b prime so again i'm getting an intersecting point right so the pascal theorem is that this three points will be in the same line irrespective of its shape right so i'm going to minimize and maximize this image so you can see that the line will be straight and it will not be in a different position. So this is the Pascal theorem. You can apply it for any shapes, example ellipse, parabola, hyperbola. Okay. So circle also you can apply. So this is the main idea behind Pascal. Here. So now I am taking it for circle and I am mentioning the same six points A, B, C and A prime, B prime and C prime and I am drawing some six lines to generate three points and now also you can see that the three lines are in the straight line. Three points are in the straight line. So I am going to maximize my radius and minimize my radius of my circle even then I am going to get the three points in the same line so it is that we can tell the three non parallel lines can generate a collinear points so again I am taking an ellipse but now I am going to variate my places right so I have given as a b b prime c prime c a prime b right so you there is no intersection right inside the ellipse so my idea is that i'm going to extend my line so so that i'm going to extend it till it get intersect so at a point it is going to get intersect right so my a and a prime and a is getting intersecting Similarly, all the lines are getting intersecting and the three points generated is in the same line irrespective of its shape. See, I am just changing the shape of my object. So, even then I am getting the straight line of the three points. Right? So, let us see for... parabola right so i'm mentioning a b c a prime b prime c prime and six lines and i'm getting three points standing in the straight line right so hyperbola so a b c a prime b prime c prime and a to b prime b to a prime a to c prime and c to a prime so I'm generating three points and that three points are in the same line. So irrespective of its size, you will be getting that. So the Pascal theorem is that from any six point or a conic section that is ellipse, parabola, hyperbola, the three points of intersection for the pairs of non-parallel lines that is A, B prime or B, A, B prime, A and a c prime c prime a and b c prime and c prime b are collinear so this is pascal theorem and 
the Pappas theorem is that same with points on two lines itself. And that's the end of the session. Thank you.